Tanzania has recently moved to a low middle income country status. The creation of special economic zones and export processing zones under the surveillance of the Export Process Zone Authority are considered key in the National Development Plan. Presently, EPZA has 176 entities. These entities are located across Tanzania, mainly in Dar es Salaam and the Pwani region, but also in places like Mwanza, Arusha, Kilimanjaro, Mbeya, Tanga, and Morogoro. EPZA facilitates various processes for investors and are currently further developing the existing one-stop service center, allowing them a simplified access to other government services, including water abstraction and wastewater discharge permits. Wastewater from any manufacturing process is discharged back into the environment. Untreated discharge not only has a negative effect on the ecosystem and the people using it, but on foreign investments as they often adhere to strict environmental compliance. When it comes to industrial wastewater in Tanzania, there are four key main governing bodies involved in regulating industrial wastewater discharge. These include the Basin Water Boards, Water Supply and Sanitation Authorities, the Export Processing Zone Authority, the National Environmental Management Council as the highest authority to safeguard overall environmental compliance. When industrial wastewater is produced and discharged, there are handover points, which define the point in the system whereby the water goes from one authority's jurisdiction to another. Often at these handover points, roles and responsibilities between authorities are not clearly defined and gray areas appear within the system and its management. To better understand this, let us take an example of a generic factory located within the Benjamin William Mkapa SEZ in Dar es Salaam. The water required for the manufacturing process enters the factory system either from boreholes, surface water sources at site, which requires a borehole or surface water abstraction permit from a basin water board. Within urban areas, water would generally be provided by a connection to a water main that is provided by the Urban Water Supply and Sanitation Authority, that is Dawasa in Dar es Salaam. When wastewater from a manufacturing process leaves a factory operating within the Benjamin William Mkapa Special Economic Zone, several scenarios may be presented. Discharge of industrial wastewater into a sewer system requires a permit from the respective authority owning the sewer assets. EPZA for sewers within the Benjamin William Mkapa Special Economic Zone, WSSA for municipal sewer systems, here Dawasa, ensuring the necessary quality requirements for industrial wastewater that can be handled by the Dawasa infrastructure. The BWM SEZ industrial effluent discharge enters the Dawasa sewerage system via a pumping station and is redirected towards the Mabibo treatment pond system. These ponds are waste stabilization ponds operated by Dawasa to achieve effluent quality that can be discharged into the environment in compliance with TBS standard. These are open ponds that employ natural processes to treat domestic and industrial wastewater. As such, this biological treatment process is designed to process organic content and can be damaged by exposure to toxic and or harmful pathogens contained in the wastewater from industrial manufacturing. The Mabibo ponds have a temporary discharge permit from BWB for discharge into the environment, the Msimbazi River, and finally the Indian Ocean. NEMC has the overall oversight of these processes to ensure everything is in compliance with the Environmental Management Act, and TBS has set national industrial wastewater discharge standards that defines the required quality of the wastewater against pollutants on discharge into the environment. Clarity of regulatory requirements for wastewater discharge with clearly defined processes is paramount for the confidence of investors. The future of the industrial sector in Tanzania looks promising, with a number of ongoing initiatives specifically within the industrial wastewater management section. These are in collaboration with GIZ and Natural Resources Stewardship Program that exists to promote corporate water stewardship and multi-stakeholder collective action for water security. The development of the Wastewater Discharge Guidelines and EPZA and GIZ partnership have recently been approved by NEMC. Through this initiative, discharge permits will be officiated, creating further clarity through these guidelines. Further possible solutions include an overall movement towards a software-based intelligence system that will facilitate payments and revenue within the sector. 
The Water User Information Management System program is currently under screening, a multi-agency program designed to facilitate abstraction and discharge permit management between the EPZA and the Basin Water Board. With a growing industrial sector, there is an increasing need for an integrated, predictable, and modern permit management system. Continuing to coordinate the relevant Tanzanian authorities and stakeholders' interests is essential to achieve the country's broad vision of its development goals. More specifically, to sustain a competitive economy capable of sustainable growth through developing a predictable environment.